What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So, we are down in the dungeon, a.k.a. the basement. You guys have probably seen me doing projects, things like that down here. Frag systems, plenty of, I don't know, three or four frag systems have been over there. I've done a lot of stuff down here in the past and in videos. Some of my unboxings are done right over there. But I pretty much just want to, you know, sit here, chill, talk to you guys, and tell you what I've been up to down in the basement, and honestly, not much, and it's really good. I've decided, uh, you guys all know, to become strictly a hobbyist, I'm not selling coral anymore, not doing any of that stuff, um, I want to actually enjoy this hobby instead of working through the hobby, I guess you could say, and it's great, I've gotten a lot of projects done around the house, I finished the deck, I finished the back stairs, so the back porch is done, but anyway, for those of you that don't know, this is where, you know, I hang out. This is where I, like I said, this is where I do my unboxings. Oh, I have some equipment that I want to show you guys, so you might want to stick around for that. Um, I hooked up the TV downstairs finally. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or put it up in the air or whatever. I'm not sure yet, but I'd be listening to videos while I'm down here doing a couple of my own things. Um, and it's been good. Still using the Brute trash can for storing water. I personally recommend this as my number one choice. For anybody that's going to be storing RO water, the Brute Trash Can is the best. The reason why I say it's the best, this thing's four years old. It's still reading zero TDS. It's the easiest container to clean. If you have water going to it, you know, if it's hard plumbed, you can always just disconnect that real quick. Take it, wash it, rinse it, dry it, clean it, put it back. So this thing's four years old and it's, it's still kicking butt. I leave my little hose that's strictly for sucking the water out of here and putting it into my little fill can to bring it upstairs. I was always thinking about putting a pump on it <clears throat> so that I just turn it on upstairs, but nope, I don't want to have to do that and have anything sitting in here, you know, besides water itself. There you go. You can see it's fresh. Um, this is where I hang my sump socks. Yep, little, my little stockings, but this is where I store all my stuff. I almost have no fittings left. I really don't need these anymore, but I always keep them around for my little projects because I'm constantly changing things. But the upstairs tank is, um, the system is running really nice right now. The sump is awesome. I don't have to change anything. If you haven't seen my recent sump, look at the top right hand of your screen right now and you will see a link to my most recent video. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff. I'm always getting a lot of stuff. I am using the BRS 0.8 carbon. I don't have anything in these because I am using ESV. I just cleaned them and put them back like they were. There's actually a little bit of calcium left. And I recently did just get some more magnesium because I've always liked the BRS magnesium. When I want to make changes, the um, calculator is usually right on the money with this. So I am using the ESV two-part alkalinity and calcium, but I am still using the BRS magnesium. Um, and then this is my little dipping frag station, I guess, this is where I keep all my dips, my glue. Uh, I usually keep these full of frag plugs, but I did just order some and other random stuff for like water changes and dipping coral. So uh, I want to show you guys something. If you guys have ever seen me at a swap, this is the tank that I always bring. And I actually want to sell it. So this is the Deep Blue 22, it's called. It's the same footprint as a 40 breeder. It's 36 by 18. And I think it's like 8 inches tall. But it does hold just about 17 and a half gallons. Um, when it's full and running, it does have a built-in all-in-one, which is cool. Now this all-in-one is just siliconed to the glass. So if you wanted to take this out and use it for something totally different with like a hang on the back filter. This actually would be a really cool tank for that. The glass is flawless. I did paint the back and this one side. <clears throat> and I forget if I painted the bottom. Yes, I did paint the bottom all black. Uh, if you did want to remove the paint, it comes off very easily with a razor. I used the, um, what kind of paint? I used the Rust-Oleum paint. The only paint I ever use for painting aquariums. This is right here, the oil-based Rust-Oleum. Love that stuff. But anyway, uh, I want to sell this. I am not shipping anything, so if you guys are in New Jersey area, I'm right in Central Jersey, 
by the PA border. Um, I want to get rid of this tank, and we'll shoot over here. I got two other things. Um, this is that lifeguard reactor that I was using upstairs. I actually had a backup pump that I had gotten for it at a show. I actually put that in there and brand new sponges, let it run in vinegar um, for about 24 hours. So this thing is spotless, flawless, just like brand new. I mean, really, the pump is what you're looking for when it's brand new, and that is a brand new pump. I actually kept the spare one in a box over there for me, for a little project down the road maybe. And I also have this 24 inch Reef Bright all blue actinic Lumalite. I used this for a day and um, I forget what I got it for, for taking pictures. And now that I'm not taking pictures of coral for sale anymore, that's up for grabs too as well. So if anybody's interested, leave me a message in the comments or email me. Um, I would say message me on Instagram, but I'm slowly uh, actually getting rid of my Instagram, making it private. It's going to be fr you know family and close friends only. I want to start posting more family stuff on there as like a personal photo album. And um, I know a lot of you guys are on Instagram for reefing reasons only, so I don't want to bore you guys with random pictures of my dog playing with a new chew toy. So that's it for the basement update. I'll tell you what, it's been really nice not doing any projects for myself and um, others, to be honest. I can actually relax at nighttime now and not worry about, oh my gosh, I gotta get something done at a certain time. So, that's it. Um, that's it, yeah. I do have a bunch of other stuff uh, equipment-wise, but those are my backups. So, Again, if anybody's interested in any of these three items that they want, um, you know, message me uh, on billy.pipes at yahoo.com. And that's that. I will uh, see you guys on the next video. Next video is actually going to be what the tank looks like after a year. I got a boatload of new coral. Uh, I think like 20 new frags I added to it since you guys have seen it last. So, yeah, hope you guys... Get excited for that. There won't be any more teasers of the tank. You guys will see what I've been up to. So that's it. I'm going to end it now. See you guys later. Talk to you all soon. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.